Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of LJ Law, Family Law TV. I am Bonnie Leonardo, your host. Today's topic stems from an article that I read a couple of days ago, and the topic for today is, is it a good idea to remain married uh, and live apart from your spouse? I do have a lot of consultations with couples that come in that have been separated uh, from each other but continue to be married for years for different reasons. Um, and they are not choosing to get a divorce right away and continue to be married but have totally, completely separate lives. Um, in a community property state, as we have discussed in previous videos, uh, the courts always look at a married couple's assets and their debts as property of the marital estate, which can be subject to equitable distribution between the parties. So it's important to know that if you choose to continue to be married but live apart from your spouse. The courts consider a married property, a married couple's assets as well as the debts to be property of the estate that is subject to uh, division um, between the parties, whatever that may be, okay? Um, in the alternative, uh, any assets that are obtained by either you or your spouse during your separation but while still married can also be equitably divided between the two of you. So to go back to the article that I just read a couple days ago, this was an article in Michigan where a man and a wife were married uh, but had been living apart for two years. While the husband was... Uh, doing uh, beginning the divorce proceedings he bought a lottery ticket that um was a very lucky lottery ticket caught, uh, winning him 30 million dollars what happened was that the courts found that because the couple were still married that lottery ticket was community property and therefore the wife was entitled to half of the winnings. Thus, the man had to share $15 million with his wife, even though he purchased the ticket after they were separated for a few years, but they were still married. And so the courts say a, a marriage is not over until it is over. So please be sure that if you are choosing to stay married to your spouse, if you live in a community property state and you are living apart, be aware that any debts accumulated by either one of you during this time or any assets that have been obtained by either one of you during this time can be subject to equitable distribution by the courts. So please weigh the pros and the cons if this is a decision that you are considering making. As always, if you have questions about this topic or any other topic in family law, please go to vegasdivorcemeeting.com and I will be happy to sit down with you to discuss this topic or any other family law topic that you might have questions on. And as always, I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.